Hello you guys, welcome back to the vlog. We are doing a few days in my life this week. I am very excited because I feel like I haven't, I feel like I say this all the time. First of all, I feel like I haven't done a week in my life as an NP in a while. Um, but today's actually Sunday. I am working, oh my gosh, my hair is very naughty. I am working Monday through Thursday this week and um, it's actually Sunday evening. It's 5.45. I'm doing a little bit of meal prep. I do not typically meal prep. However, last week, throughout the whole entire week, we literally just ate leftovers and it made my life so easy in the afternoon. I mean, in the evening when I got home from work. And so I kind of wanted to do it a little bit. I love cooking and I love like, I don't know, cooking is very therapeutic for me. So I feel like I need a mix of both. I feel like I've complained a lot about my 10 hour shifts and coming home and then having to cook a meal and then having to clean up that meal. It often feels like by the end of doing everything, it's 9 p.m. and I'm like, okay, I'm ready for bed. Um, but it's okay. We're just gonna do a little bit of prep today. So I'm gonna make a tofu garam masala. I hope I'm saying that right, I might not be. <laughs> Um, and then I'm also going to make a orzo pesto salad and we'll see, you know, I feel like the, I might make one more thing, but I thought I would bring you guys along for that. And then we would get into the week. I have just restarted watching Vampire Diaries. I go back and forth between Vampire Diaries as my comfort show and Gossip Girl as my comfort show. I'm a little bit sick of Gossip Girl. I've been watching that for probably the last three months. So I'm gonna go back to the vampire diaries if you guys know you know um we've got the orzo cooking and i'm gonna bring you guys along just got the orzo going right here i will link the recipes that i'm using down below none of these are my own recipes got the tofu for the garam masala in the air fryer right now and i'm just chopping up the stuff for the salad. I don't think that Seth is gonna eat this salad because he doesn't like cherry tomatoes or onions, which are two of the main ingredients. So this will honestly probably be my lunch all week. And the gram masala will probably eat for dinner tonight and maybe have enough leftovers for another night. Um, I have recently found this Instagram page by this girl who makes like a bunch of easy, healthy vegan recipes and I have recently become obsessed with her stuff. So I will um, put her name on the screen right here if you guys are interested in following her. This recipe, this like orzo recipe is not from her and neither is the garam masala, but I think maybe if I end up making a third recipe today, it'll be from her stuff. So we'll keep you guys updated. But I just like am obsessed with her stuff right now. I'm not feeling. Last part of the garam masala. Just putting some spinach in it. I actually don't even think the recipe calls for spinach, but anything I can put spinach in, I will. Who knows if it even gives you like the most nutrients because it's all cooked down, but I will just pretend that it does. This is the final product. Super good. Keeps really easily. Very yummy. And then this is the pesto orzo. Actually, already like div divvied a few of them up for um, lunches. But I left some in here, but very good as well. The only thing that I would add to it, I feel like it needs something sweet. Like it's a little, a lot. It's a lot salty. <laughs> I don't know. It's good. Now for the cleanup, and my dishwasher is clean. So I have to do this first, and then we can do the dirty dishes, but it's okay. Sometimes I like to do this type of stuff on a Sunday evening, like while I'm watching my favorite show. Good morning. This is not the cutest thing you've ever seen. <laughs> Good morning, you guys. Happy Monday. Just sitting down. Um, to do my five minute devotional and um, sorry, my five minute journal and my devotional. I do this every morning, like after I make coffee, I just sit down on the couch and the boys join me. They're so sweet. 
um, something that I kind of want to get into doing and that I'm starting to do this week is kind of setting an intention for the week. Um, I kind of pulled this from my yoga practice because every time I go to a yoga class, um, at the beginning of the class, the instructor always reminds us to set an intention and what we hope to achieve out of the week. Um, sorry, out of the class, whether it's being, you know, mindful of our body, whether it's wanting to feel strong and powerful or simply wanting to like listen to our body, it doesn't matter what the intention is, but it just keeps you on track. Like when things get hard, being like, oh, this is what I wanted to get out of this class. So I'm going to bring that into my week. Um, I was talking to my husband last night and I just feel like I take my life so seriously. Um, like everything is so serious. My job and the medical field is very serious, so I, I can't change that. Um, but like I take my social media very seriously. Um, I take like eating healthy very seriously and I just kind of want to take a step back and not take life so seriously just have a fun week enjoy like spending time with my dogs enjoy spending time with my husband you know leaving work at work which is actually something i'm pretty good at um enjoying my co-workers yeah and just that's my intention for this week so i uh, we will see how it goes throughout the week actually because this is gonna be a few days vlog so yeah good morning happy monday day is done i'm happy to report that everything went super smoothly like i had a really good day today um and yeah that was exciting but i did get a package from zara i i don't know if i've said this on YouTube, but I'm going to my 10 year high school reunion, not this weekend, but next weekend. And I didn't need these clothes, but I wanted them. So we're gonna do a little haul. I'm gonna push you guys away a little bit to get the full experience. Those are some dead flowers I need to throw away. I also just got in, oh, oh that was a knife that I was going to use. Um, some Fabletic scrubs that I ordered. I got, um, what are these called? They are the Fabletics Feel Good Performance. They're, but I'm, I'm not sure what the straight leg is called, but I really like these. I get them in a petite because I'm a petite girl. I'm only 5'3". And I get them in an extra small. And I got navy because I don't have any navy scrubs. So I thought, is that would be fun? This did come in a separate um, like order from separate package from Zara, but I did order this. I just thought this was so cute. I'm really hoping it's gonna fit me. Um, the issue that I have, I feel like a lot with straps that like don't have adjustables is I'm, I don't know if I'm like, you know what it is, it's because I don't have a chest. They tend to like hang too low on me and I don't like it when you can't adjust, but. I'm excited to try this on because I really love the detailing. I think it will be super cute for summer. How do I open this? I've never seen Zara's stuff packaged this way, but it's really cool that it's not like individually wrapped in plastic. I actually really like that. I hate that like when places use individual packaged stuff. I just feel like it's such a waste and this comes really nicely. Okay. First off, I got this really cute little sweater vest. I just really love this color. I think this is so cute. I don't know, I'm not like a silver girly for details, but we'll see how I style this. I just thought this was super cute for spring and I got it in a size extra small, small. Next up, I got a dress. I was thinking, I really love horizontal stripes. I don't know if I'm going to like absolutely love this. Um, it's like a bodycon dress, but I don't know if you guys can see either, but I don't know, we shall see. 
if I like it. I think it's like, it sounds cute in my head. I just am not sure. And I got this in a size small. I also, I got, so the idea was to get some dresses because I don't have a ton of like spring summer dresses to just throw on. I thought this was so cute. I think I'm really gonna like this. Just this white little summer dress. Um, it looks like the perfect length. And then I thought the front was really cute. It zips up in the back and then the straps are adjustable and I got this in size extra small. I got another dress. <laughs> this one I just thought was really cute for like running errands or like a Saturday brunch. I don't know. It's kind of like a mini dress. Um, but again, horizontal black. I really like these types of dresses, but I don't like them when they go all the way down to my feet because I feel like they make me look shorter when they're like that. But if they're mid, like if they hit like on my calf, I feel like they don't make me look shorter. I don't know if that makes any sense, but I don't know. We'll see. I'm too lazy to try all this stuff on right now. I got this in a size small. My sizing, like I was totally guessing for, so I don't know. This shirt i just think is so cool it's really simple i love just simple shirts to throw on um it just kind of like zips up i was really planning on just wearing this with jeans like out to dinner i just thought it was super cool it's really simple i got this in a size small and then this shirt I think is really cute as well. I'm hoping it fits me well, but it's this like sweetheart black tee. I also just thought this would be a really cute look for with some jeans. And I got it in a size small. I feel like I could have done a size extra small. I don't know. We'll see. Last but not least, probably what I'm most excited about but most nervous about is I get all of my pants from Abercrombie usually. They just fit me the best. But... I feel like Abercrombie hasn't quite caught on to like the low rise jean. I really wanted to try a low rise jean. Zara's pants just don't fit me well. Like I have my waist is much smaller than my hips and I feel like the sizing just never works out. Okay. <laughs> These are super cool. I got the low rise full length in, okay. These are going to be way too long on me. Like just looking at these right now, like, yeah. I even put these on my low rise. There's like this much on the ground. I, I don't know if it, they came in a petite or if I just didn't think about that. And I got them in a size two because I was scared on the fit, but looking at it, let's do this test. Looking at it, I feel like it's gonna be a little big. Maybe not, it does fit here. I don't know. I'm like a little too lazy to try all this stuff on right now, you guys. So I'm terribly sorry. If I do like a TikTok try on haul, I'll insert that right here. But I'm gonna go take a shower and kind of unwind for the night. It's 8.30, we've already eaten dinner, walk the dogs. It's time for me to lay on the couch and watch TV. Good morning. Good morning, baby. You wanna eat breakfast already? You hungry this morning? it's Tuesday I am running very behind today um, like, I'm running very behind today but it's okay no worries um, I just like slept so bad last night you guys my aura ring which I love the, the sleep factor of the aura ring I think it's super cool I, it showed me that I got like six hours and 45 minutes of sleep which I usually get around like seven and a half to eight. Really my goal is to get eight every night, um, but I'm quite a restless sleeper. Um, but I like woke up 
at 3 o'clock and I don't think I fell back asleep till like 4, 4.30 and I was wide awake and it was really weird. That's never happened to me before. Well, okay, that's dramatic. It's definitely happened to me before, but it doesn't happen to me often. So it was just a little strange. Um, so I had a little bit of a late start this morning because I had a hard time getting out of bed. But we are on it. I feel like more stuffy and more sick today than I did yesterday, which is weird. Um, I don't know, you guys. <laughs> like, weird stuff is happening to me. I just have, like, my sore throat won't go away. It's not strep. Like, my throat isn't really that red when you look at it. And I don't know who the heck I would have gotten strep from. <laughs> Um, but my throat is not like that sore. It's not strep sore, you know? Um, and I have a cough and I do have lymphadenopathy, but I've had lymphadenopathy. If you guys are following that saga, I don't know if I've told you guys, I have this submandibular lymph node that I was able to feel before I got sick, probably like a week and a half before. Now I can feel a bit more like related, I think, to me being sick. I don't really have any cervical lymph nodes right now. Oh, no, I do. I do, um, but yeah, it's just weird, and then, like, ha catching this virus, like, I've been having nosebleeds, like, life is just a little bit weird right now, it's kind of freaking me out, but I'll be fine. Just got back from Publix, work was really good today, but I thought I would just do a little Publix haul, I'm sorry if you can hear Camper panting in the background, we were outside playing with the ball, I got some eggs, I give the dogs a raw egg every night with their dinner some old-fashioned oats for um, the protein oats I've been making. I love tater tots, and then got a bunch of berries. These berries looked so good, you guys. I've just been craving, that looks so good. A lime, I'm gonna make guacamole tonight. It's Taco Tuesday, and then some dog treats, and kind bars. I am all out of like my regular um, protein bars, and I need to make another order from Thrive, but some coconut milk, one thing of tofu, and then I just picked up, we needed more coffee creamer. I feel like there's really no good, not good, but like no new non-dairy coffee flavors out, and I'm getting like, I want something new. <laughs> so I just picked this up, it's fine. Some oat milk, Oatly now does super basic oat milk, and it just has um, water, oats, sea salt, and citrus fiber, which is way better than the ingredients in their other ones, so I've been buying this one instead. Um, and then some poppies. I've been drinking the raspberry rose right now because I feel like they have changed the formula of the um, doc pop and it's just it's not hitting the same for me right now. I don't know if it's like my local supplier or what, but this has been tasting better. This is the final product. It's, I hesitate to lift it up because it's kind of falling apart, but it's really good. Mm -hmm. 